Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you for love and support. Being able to work hard towards the things that you are manifesting into your life and having faith that they're on its way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been um, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll have a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or content of the video, or you're just up to me about your empathic gift, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is being very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciated, and I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And today, my meditation music that I'm, I'm listening to is so relaxing, too. It's called 432 Hertz of Music, uh, Balance, Male, Female, Energy, Harmonious, uh, Inner Energy, Field, Shiva, and Shakti. I think that's how you pronounce it and I will post that link in the description box below and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey okas when we are spending our times on unlearning what people what others have placed upon us you know what that can really be some work because it's like you know you can't understand like the, the fact is your parents or anybody who has just placed some you know really dark energy on you you know did the most utmost trifling thing they can possibly put you in you know it makes you you know tend to look at the world in a different way um sometimes you know i've met a lot of people that they carried what they went through on their sleeve and a lot of them ha haven't like i can sit up here and meet somebody and we can have a sit down talk and sometimes you wouldn't even think all these things has happened to that person because um of the way they project themselves or the way they carry themselves or whatever um being able to look past towards the bad things that happen in their life some people you know camouflage that is uh getting back at people in the worst kind of way it's so many different things but it's just like with our you know we'll go through all these different spiritual attacks especially after we you know we receive the spiritual awakening there's times where we end up going through ascension about four or five hundred times including the same amount dark by the show soul where it's projecting every ugly part about us that we need to set free and we need to change from it you know it takes so long for us to have to go through that and it's already you know it just seems like like i told y'all in the other video you know you could be the most you know painfulest thing you have ever experienced in life and you know in the back of your mind you would never wish that on anybody else you know there are some people that it's just like you can read about what's going on in the world you know it could have been like a man who caught AIDS and want to go off to every woman and try to make sure he infected about as many people as he can you know just placing that on somebody's life like that you know I just can't stand it when people lie to you about certain things and not giving you a choice to say okay I want to deal with this or I don't but there's a lot of times things happen the way they happen for us to be able to learn you know it, it's just like you're not like I tell y'all all the time you're not the project product product of the things that's been placed on you you are not the product of things that have happened to you you're going to be that product of the person that overcome whatever has been placed upon you and it might take a minute to go through that like i told you every day is a daily process you know you can't get mad at yourself because you're like well i should have been here right now everything happens in divine timing you have to con sometimes you got to constantly keep going through the same thing over and over again but it's like more things you needed to learn in that situation like there's times you might be ready to to get out of the stressful situation you're in but there's so much you need to learn right then and there you know whether you can't be worried about the future you can't be you know should have could have would have when it comes to the past i had to learn that you know i you know i want the best for me in my future but i'm trying to live in what's going on right now what can i learn from right now what is you know the universe trying to teach me what is the people that is in my life right now when it comes to a negative impact or a ne negative reply or response or whatever what is this situation trying to teach me you know things that guys towards my way what am i supposed to learn so it's just like all the things that we're going through has a 
it's a subliminal message that goes through it. Like anytime I watch a movie, I always see like, okay, universe had me want to watch this movie for so long. And it was like, I know there was a movie I shared with a couple of my love books the other day. I seen this preview, me and my daughter were watching Flatline uh, with the girl from, who was it? It had Kiefer Sutherland in it. And I was like, oh shoot, he played in the first one, but they made a remake to this. And it had the girl from Juno. Um, it had the other girl from Vampire Diaries, Elena. And I forgot what the real girl name is. And, you know, there was a couple of other actors that, you know, I don't know. But it was like that one was showing you the most worst things you can possibly go through. The things that they've been carrying around so long that they have not made peace with. You know, and I was just like, dag, that's what I'm talking about. It's just like so many times you can carry around. And, that, you know, your past can really eat at you if you really... You know keep carrying that around as in guilt and you know things you have to be honest with your situation you have to be honest about your past being able to say okay this has happened i apologize for things that happened they said you just basically had to make peace with your past it's gonna keep coming back and haunt you and i had to do that especially with mine you know i carry around anger in my heart so long you know about the people that done things to me things that they did towards me and my dad that you know didn't sit well with me but i couldn't allow those things to keep haunting me like that because there's a lot of things and I still don't know and maybe be glad I didn't know, you know. And it's just like, you know, being able to do do what I do, it, it, it really has promising things in return for me. I do the things that I do because of the kindness of my heart, not looking for anything in return. Because I always feel like when people are like, Roz, I want to send you something. I'm like, no, don't do that. I'm just wanting, you know, I just want that blessing for you. I feel like the blessing in return is to see you happy, to see you know that you're not walking around confused about what you are, who you are, and what are you supposed to be doing here. You know, those are the blessings I love to see. I love to see somebody have grown from the hurt, the pain, things that they're, they it had a problem with them healing from. Because it's like a lot of y'all that I've, that's been with me for a long time, it's just like I'm, I'm happy and I'm so proud of y'all. I tell y'all all the time. It's like when you start seeing things for what they truly are, you know, there's a lot of times we have had things embarked in our lives and placed upon us that we never feel like we'll ever heal from. But it's just the fact that it takes every day to do that. You know, and it, it, it took me a lot. <laughs> you know, I still struggle with certain things. But like today, I actually can say I'm blessed because I could have been sitting around here wallowing in my own pity about me not being able to spend time with my dad on Father's Day. But I could just sit up here and have like a little get together in my head about the things I would do if my father was still here. So it's just like, I'm, I'm actually good with that. And I'm proud of myself because any other time I would have been sad and depressed. Like I can remember last year I was sad and depressed. But it's just like, it's a new day. This is a new year. You know, things happen the way they happen. You know, when things, the truth is going to be, you know, truth going to come in right when I least, least expect it. What's done in the dark, like I say, what's done in the dark will come to light, you know. And it's just like being able to do this and still hold my head up high knowing I have a positive purpose. I'm leading a positive purpose. You know, I'm not the perfect person. You know, I'm not going to say I haven't done things that I'm not ashamed of because I have. You know, but my, my, my mistakes and my setbacks has brought me to where I'm at now. You know, we have to fail for, we, for, uh, for us to be able to be successful. No successful person did not learn off of their failures or you can't say that they didn't learn off of their failures, their setbacks and mistakes. A lot of people, you know, won't tell you how they got rich and did the things that they're doing. But the people that truly want to see others win, they'll tell you, hey, you know, you want to be living your blessed, blessed life and best life. Look at the things that you have gone through. Look at the times you felt like you weren't going to be able to get through things you, you did get through. Yeah, it, it took a long time. Because there's a lot of times I've seen things that I, didn't, I didn't, didn't really care for. And I was just like, God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with this. I can't. You know, I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to be able to make it. But end up... You know, it took a while. You end up making it. You know, and there's a lot when you go through a breakup. Like, oh my God, oh, I don't know if I can live without them. And you be damned. <laughs> You'll be surprised about the things that you said you couldn't live without. You end up living without them, and you're doing just fine. You know, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy. You know, with myself because it's like I came a long way. Like I tell people, you know, you got to give yourself credit. You know, you weren't the same person that started this. You know 
this situation that started this awakening you are no longer i mean it's just like your mind and the world has opened you up to so many different things in the life that you 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 wouldn't believe that goes on behind closed doors you know when society has pressed us up pressed us up with you know um what is it you know beliefs set beliefs fear you know, wanting us not to believe, you know, we, we fear what we all don't understand, but you as an empath knows anything is possible. You know, I always felt like, shoot, you know, people, be, you know, scientists, I love quantum physics. And when they talk about, oh, well, we discovered this and this and this in the ocean, I, I'm not surprised when it happens because there's a lot of things that God made us, God made this, you know, like, like it says, you, you can't believe in miracles, but yet we lived on this little blue circle that's up here and has, you know, another dark circle and a, a, a fire one too, and you can't believe in miracles that we go around it, you know, all the time. And you have to be able to believe in yourself and know that whatever has been placed on you, you can change that. You have the power to change that. You have to just basically tell yourself, what am I going to deal with? What am I going to let go of? What can I let go of? You know, what you know, what my situation is going to help me evolve from. Because it's just like you have been through stuff. And for you to sit here and tell somebody all the things you've been through. And this was years ago. That means anything is possible. Because the fact is any other normal person would have went through the things you went through. Probably don't either hurt the people that did it. Or they don't hurt themselves and they're long, no longer here. There's so many people that have been led, for example. They're no longer here. It's like, like I told you, 1044 is awakening, is woke, wide awake, like they done took some no-dos. <laughs> they are here, baby. So it's just like a lot of people have died and they've been set, for example. A lot of things, people are starting to take the mask off and you seeing the things they've been doing in the dark finally starting to come to the surface. We've seen all their little dark secrets and you're like, mm. Well, I guess so, such and such is not a perfect person like they claim they are. You know, it's just crazy how things come to the surface from, you know, people doing so long. Because people get comfortable in doing the dirt that they do and feel like, oh, I can keep doing it because I haven't got caught. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> not yet. But just trust and believe. You'll start seeing things coming out the surface. Like I told y'all this last year, this will be the year between last year and this year. It'll be that year for everything to start to come to the surface and people's masks start dropping off and they ain't the people who they painted themselves up to be. They show you, there's you that you show to everybody. There's another you that you should show your true colors to and there's you that nobody never sees except when you're by yourself. And that's, you know, I try to tell people that all the time. It, it just depends on what face that you want to show people. A lot of times, you know, people don't show their weaknesses because they feel like that's being weak when you show emotion. No, it's not. They're just saying that you, you, you're in touch with your emotions. That's it. A lot of people like, I know they say they can't cry. I said, no, those are the weakest people because you can't cry. And it's not like I'm saying that to be disrespectful, but that's just like you're not being in touch with reality as well enough as your emotions. You have to be able to cry sometimes to be able to know that things will get better in your life. You know, just because you feel a certain way about yourself or you feel like you're a program that certain kind of way, you can de decode yourself. When you have that spiritual awakening, that's what it is, a, a decode switch. For you to not be seeing things how they project them out for you to be. Because when you can step out that matrix and see things for what they truly are, you'll be amazed at the things that you see. It's just funny. Like, especially with my situation. Especially the people that I know that can't stand me. <laughs> and I be hearing their thoughts so many times. And don't even let it bother me. Because I said, that's your opinion of me. I see who I am. You might not like me because I'm showing who I really am. You're just showing what you choose to show people. I, I say, I've got the same face all the time. There's days you'll see me when I'm happy. There'll be days you'll see me when I'm set the hell off. And there's days you'll see me where I'm very humbled. I'm humbled all the time because I feel like I'm blessed to be able to do the things that I do. I keep it real. Some people don't like that pill called truth, and that's fine. You know, people it show me that they don't like my pill called truth, and it is just okay. But it's not going to stop me from being me. It ain't going to stop me from who I'm related to, even though when people can't stand that. It's, it's still going to be the same thing tomorrow, just like it was with like it was yesterday <laughs> so it's just like i learned from all those things and i noticed when i said that was 421 but you know um dealing with all those different things is, is allowing you to you know put your life together how you choose for it to be not from what people have molded you out to be you know or told others how you are you this will be your moment on decoding yourself and and putting together the person you chose to be and what you truly are 
So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all enjoy y'all's weekend. You know, I hope you have a prosperous week. Much love to you. Happy Father's Day. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Because you never know. Your kindness can really take somebody a long way subscribe let me know if you resonate um give me your opinion that is greatly appreciated and i will see you on my next video much love share give me a thumbs up and yeah share and hit that notification peace